Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be with you throughout the championship. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Now, the point of this video is that I'm going to predict what I think the Italy team will be to face England this coming Saturday, 3rd of February, in the first game of this Six Nations Championship for these two teams. Now, when we did the squad review video, which I'll, I'll link up there, should be up there now, I struggled to find out a huge amount of information about the Italy team and squad in the English-speaking media. But thank you to a load of people who jumped on board in the comments and really helped out with a, a ton of great information. And especially the guys at Fratelli, Fratelli di Rugby, uh, an English language Italian rugby podcast, which I'll also link up there now. Uh, and I advise you to go over there, subscribe and watch some of their content if you want to find out even more detail about the Italian team and Italian rugby in general. OK, on to Italy this weekend against England. And I just want to talk, first of all, about the style of play that I expect them to uh, to use. I think with a new coach, Casada, there will certainly be changes, but I think they might well try and keep on playing the free-flowing, attacking, exciting rugby that they became renowned for last championship. I think it suits a lot of their players with some of their absolute superstars in the three quarters. And I think it excites the crowd and I think it excites them. However, I think there needs to be some pragmatism built in as well. They need to clear their lines more effectively when they're really under pressure. So I expect Casada will um, will bring in a little bit of that as we go through the championship uh, for sure. Now, talking about Casada again, a new coach in the role, and I think that uh, I think that he'll probably go with some proven performers at test level, particularly in these opening weeks, bed some of these younger guys coming through into the squad, and, and we'll maybe see them later in the championship. In terms of squad updates, since the original squad was was posted, I can't find any. So I think it's exactly the same squad as was originally posted. There was no URC games for Italian teams this past weekend. So as far as I know, no injuries. Okay, then let's get into this. Starting with the forwards, and I'm going to start off here with the players that I feel are nailed on starters. So I think these guys are, yeah, pretty much pretty much guaranteed to start as far as I'm concerned. The propping ranks are quite thin on the ground in terms of experience. So Fischetti, and Cecciarelli are the two most experienced guys, and I think they will almost certainly start. Uh, Rutzer in the second row has been absolutely locked on for his place whenever he's been available, so I think he will absolutely start. And that back row is uh, as good as you'll see. Negri, huge, great big ball-carrying, hard-tackling threat. Lamoro, great across the ball and just a phenomenal leader. And then Canoni, just another great carrier as well. So I think those three guys make up a really good, uh, balanced and experienced back row. Now then, moving on to the other positions, I think um, at hooker, it's uh, it's basically going to be Nicotera or Lucchese, both of whom play for Benetton and both of whom have got about the same amount of caps. So I've gone for Nicotera. He's got one more cap. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be his advantage as far as I'm concerned. And in the second row, you've got Nicola Canan Canoni. Eduardo Iacchizzi or Andrea Zambonin. Zambonin, by the way, is apparently a lightweight but very tall lock, ever present for Zebra in the past two years and apparently is good for one line-out steal per game. Many thanks to Robert Smithson, who jumped in the comments on last week's video to give me that information. I'm going to go with probably the most experienced guy here, again for the forwards, again to start the championship in Canoni. So there we go. That's the forwards that I think Italy will start with this weekend against England. OK, on into the backs. And again, I'm going to start with the players who I think are nailed on starters. Varney has been playing very well for Gloucester this year. He, uh, it, again, is the most experienced, so I think he will start. Garbisi at fly half is a genuine superstar. He could play 12, and he's played at 12 for Italy before, but I think he'll be starting at, at 10. This weekend, uh, Brex recently returned from injury and Menicello, who missed out on the World Cup, I think, through injury as well, were a great centre partnership 
last year for Italy. So I think Casada is going to want to rely on combinations. So if you've got nine, ten combinations, combinations in the centre, he's definitely going to want to to have that in the in the spine of his team for the first game of the championship. And of course, Ange Capuozzo, who is um, yeah, it's just another absolute superstar of the Italian team. He played for Toulouse this last weekend, scored the bonus point try, just skating around the outside of, of the defence, looked uh, as absolutely on form as he ever has. So I think Capuozzo will definitely start as well. Um, OK, let's go through and look at what I've picked as the team. The backs that I think will actually start the game. So what I've done is I've put Capuozzo on the wing where he's played a lot for Italy, and that is to include Tommaso Allen at fullback. Again, I think he's Italy's current most capped player in this squad, 80-something caps. He brings a second playmaker kind of feel to the back line. He brings a goal-kicking expert and I think some extra game management as well, which might prove crucial. So I think we'll go Capuozzo on the wing and Allen at fullback. And then on the left wing, Apparently, this young man, Gessie or Jesse, I'm going to guess Gessie with a hard G, has been scoring tries for fun over the last couple of years. He's young. Apparently, defence maybe could do with a bit of work, but I think Italy need to score points. And if they're going to do that, then Gessie could be the man. Sounds a bit like Messi. OK, <laughs> um, so that's where we're at. Uh, and he takes that shirt really, I guess, over the very experienced Monty Ioni, who has been playing well for Italy in recent years. But I just think this is going to be my one kind of maverick pick for the Italian team this week. So that leaves us now to the bench. And let's go and take a look at that. So the other hooker, Lucchese, gets in on the bench. Mirko not micro, as we mentioned in the previous video. Mirko uh, Spagnolo. apparently this is his first year in the URC and he's completely supplanted, supplanted Neymar in the pecking order. Again, thank you, Robert Smithson, for that information. So he, he'll be a debut, debutant if he plays this week. And Zilocchi as well. Zambonin, I've gone for the, uh, the second row bench spot. I think maybe... That threat of a line-out steal, the option to have another line-out caller on the bench might be beneficial to Italy this weekend. So we've gone with him. Zuliani apparently plays a lot from the bench and is a very strong ball carrier, very strong over the ball in defence as well. So they need some grunts some go forward and maybe a turnover in the later stages. Zuliani could be the man. Alessandro Garb Garbisi as a scrum half replacement. And then we've got Mr. Mori here, who has been playing his rugby in Bayonne. And I've got a friend in Bayonne, uh, the former podcast guest, Mr. Stuart Locke. So I asked his opinion on young Federico, and he said that he's a very positive player. Uh, he's become a huge personality within the team and incredibly popular with supporters there. He's probably got something to prove following uh, exclusion from the World Cup. In the way he plays, he's very direct. He used to play on the wing. Now he's playing in the centre, and he goes for the gain line and more often than not gets over it. However, distribution skills probably lacking a little bit, so that, which makes him quite one-dimensional. However, it didn't stop him uh, scoring a couple of belters off the bench for Bayonne against Exeter a couple of weeks ago. So if he gets on the pitch, well, if he gets picked and gets on the pitch, then expect him to uh, bring a bit of dynamism from the bench. And of course, the same can be absolutely said for Monty Uioni, whose name I'm really struggling to pronounce today. Um, with their backline options, they've got options to move people around all over the place. So um, I think just another big strike runner from the bench is what is going to work for Italy this week. What do you think? Do you think I'd pick the team that Casada's going to pick? Do you think it's the right team? Most importantly, do you think they're good enough to beat England? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up while you're down there and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos during this Six Nations. And most importantly, get out and play.